Hey, hey, hi, I am ITPHD and today I'll tell you how to install console on your Notepad++ and I'll tell you some tricks and secrets about it, how to work properly in this console. So, first of all, you go to plugins, plugin admin, and there you could search for NPP exec, it's called this plugin. So this co console is basically a plugin. So you ch check it and you press install. Yeah, it will restart notepad plus plus so yeah and it's already installed you see uh, i had it already installed in previously that's why i have some customization so you will have it it will be on white background and first what you and you it's also would be like closed so how to open this console first you go to plugins npp exec and here you will see like show npp exec console and then you will see it. It will be on white background. So yeah, by the way, how to change background? Let's first look into some customization. You go to NPP exec, then advanced options. And here on the top, on the bottom right corner. So if you want to make everything on black background, you put here all zeros, it will be black. If you want to make text white, you put all Fs here. So, for example, if you want this green color, you want to make it like more bright, you change this 8 on F. So, it's basically a GB color table, very similar. So, now if I will refresh it, you see now we have our color much better. So, I'll, I just like to have this dark mode. Also, you could change stuff like uh, font. For example, yeah, I use consoles. I like consoles. You could make it uh, like bigger, smaller, all this stuff. But the most important thing which I do all the time, it's uh, I wanted to hide and show the console with a short, with a hotkey. So control tilde. By default in NPP exec, control tilde, it's toggle NPP console. And toggle, it means change cursor from the code to console which is not really fun for me i like to hide console and to like show it it's much easier to do it uh, we must make a macro so we go uh, macro modify shortcut macro and here we go to plugin command so it's basically the way to reassign your hotkeys and here you will have you would have control tilde at toggle mpp exec console so you just remove clear this command and clear and assign it here so put control tilde to this command okay and then you, with control tilde you will be able to open and close it it's really awesome so yeah how to use actually this console so uh, let me show it to you cls to clear the console by the way nice command so you basically just could uh, compile stuff from the console and run it from the console it's very nice but also you could summon here like common prompt windows common prompt or powershell some other stuff so when you start it it creates child process and it's kind of fun and nice but the problem is that if you would like like if you work with this common prompt and then you would like to close it uh okay yeah it worked for me but you will have like a prompt let me make it the same as you would have yeah so if you would use command prompt for example here and then you would you would want a shell some other shell to close it it you would have such warning and every time you would need to kill it or you could just yeah you could just press ctrl c in cmd to close this process like ctrl c or you could press like exit exit but yeah i i, I do not like to make excessive work so i like to close it immediately how to do it not much people kind of know about this thing so uh, there is a way to create a script execute and pp exec script so if you do not open uh, cmd for now so just go plugin execute and pp script and here put this stuff like set exit cmd silent equal e exit and save the script to exit cmd for example okay now uh 
you did it and if you would go cmd and will close it it will work but the problem is that when you would try it again if you would go cmd here and we'll try to close it it wouldn't work this time why because you need to run this um, command every time so how to solve this problem we go to mpp exec options here to advanced options and we make to execute this script every time when notepad plus plus starts so we put the script here we press ok and now um, when we would exit yeah we need to just restart it when now we when we run our npp this script automatically start and if we would go cmd and then close it will work immediately another thing i forgot to, to mention it earlier that you should add this tick follow current directory it's very important because by the without this tick without this tick um, npp this plugin it will have a directory not which you have with your open file so by default this directory will be like program files not plus 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 and of course we want to be able to run console for this file for where it slays so to do so you go you add this tick follow current directory so after you do edit um, you will be able like uh, to have common prompt and to execute this file immediately without paths which is very nice so yeah there are plenty of other stuff here so you could uh, look into it and um, there are a lot of customization very nice help and manual so check it this is beautiful plugin one of the best and kind of all and not part plus plus lovers should have it so i'll make some more videos about it later on don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll make more interesting vids and hope to see your comments have a good day bye bye